No runs on the scoreboard. But tonight they've gone three batters. They've gone two hits. And they've got three runs. All timing. All timing by Galen. Young rips this one. He's going to get it past Rodriguez. Is he? No. Rodriguez comes up. Fires. Wow. Great play from Manny Rodriguez. The shortstop for the Blue Sox. Laying out into the 5-6 hole. And was able to bounce up to his feet and make the play to first base. But it's cost them three runs to start with. So the Aces on fire early here at Blacktown. If you've just joined us. Colin Willis led things off with a triple. We're going to score at a triple. We'll have a look at the uh, the game score later. Earl George got a base on balls, and then Blake Galen put one over the right field wall for a three-run home run. As this one is lifted into foul territory, Trent D'Antonio going to the foul fence. He's reaching out, but he won't be able to reach it. That one will get up onto uh, the grassed area behind first base, and will be a wonderful souvenir for one of the young fans up there who... This one has popped up into right field. Cortez gets a bad read on it, but he comes forward, dives, and makes the catch. It got up into that bruise we're talking about, which must be a little bit stronger than it appears from up here, Harrow, because all of a sudden Cortez was in real trouble. That yep. ball died on him and turned away from him. Gift and go pay at the plate. Yeah, nicely located. Across that outside edge. This one hits straight at Rodriguez. Takes a funny hop off the grass, lip in front of the batter. But Rodriguez is up to the challenge. Comes forward, attacks it, and makes the throw. Make a Bunis on deck. Yeah. Beardsley made the adjustment there to pull in a strike. Beardsley is another one of these Australian baseballers that finds himself in the Twins organisation. Drafted with the Twins in 2016. Twins have been good for Australian baseball. As young guys, a lot of them have gone through. Two balls and two strikes into his at-bat. First of the evening. Next pitch comes in and it'll ring him up. Had a swing at a, a curveball that got down on him. Had a little chat with umpire Ben Nash. I don't know what it would have been about. Clearly not interested in that pitch from Beardsley. Shapes to bunt. Doesn't pull out of it for a second strike. Retro jersey is the one I chose as my favourite of half a dozen or so. Down the line, third base side. And picks it to get the out there. Daryl George across to Tomska at first base. He gets, does he get it through or not? Yes, he does. Out to centre field. Blake Galen had a lot of chasing to do to get that. Could not get to it. Took it on the first hop. And swing and a miss on that one from Gibson. And on cue, Harrow rips this one into the right centre field alley, but getting around will be Colin Wells with, uh, Willis with good wheels, and he will get there to make the catch. Only needed a couple more yards to the left, and it was against the wall, but uh, not to be. Willis cuts it off. Pop up. Third base side, Jacob Eunice going to the fence for it. Checks the fence, gets it just on the edge of the warning track. Well, let's see what Shane Fogarty can do with him. Gets a swing and a miss, maybe a little bit of a tip on that one. By the way, he gave up three runs in the first three hitters he faced. This one foul back to the screen. Fogarty looking for his first strikeout of the night. And he will get it. Certainly has. Romanski heads back for the dugout. So two up, two down. The Melbourne Aces here, top of the second. Balls and a couple of extra base hits. Pretty reliable. <laughs> Jake Burns, young Jake Burns, I should say, putting the signs down. Swing and a miss from Dale again. Does Shane Fogarty. High left centre field. Let's see if they can get it. Has he split them or not this time? Camping underneath it. Michael Campbell makes the call. Priority call for centre field. And Michael Campbell takes a catch. Second strike. Rodriguez settles in again. Waits for this uh, next pitch. Pops one down. Half hit ball. As... 
Daryl George charging in, but uh, Rodriguez, gee, he's got a set of wheels. He is a very quick man. Always going to be a tough play when it was a slow roller to the left side, and Daryl George had to charge and attack it, barehand it and flick it, and it still wasn't enough to get Rodriguez, who runs extremely well. Uh, a lefty again. It's all right. So, uh, handy average. This one is going to get through the gap between first and second, is it? No, Jared Dale will knock it down, but that will be all that Jared Dale will do. He could only knock it down. He was at full range to his left. Another lefty, as you can see. There we go. Bazana pops another one across to the same location. But moves both runners around. Good batting from Travis Bazana. One well-known in particular is uh, Gavin Fingelson. This one's hit towards the shortstop who was playing up the middle. Not going to have any play at all. He's going to have to eat it. And Gifta Gopay ranging back into the 5-6 hole. He was cheating on the side of second base with the left-hander. Driving another run. Cut that lead from 3-1 down to 3-2. Chops that one foul. That's into play. Dale doing a lot of work there again. First half of double play. Do they get it? No, safe at first. Burns charges up the line and Sydney scores another run. RBI, Michael Campbell gets in there and RBI to Jake Burns. Well done, Jake Burns. At first on the fielder's choice. This one chops straight back up the middle. And the Gopay will have to come across the diamond and he just lobs it across to Tomska for the out. on us all right listening for no the clock no, clip. no chasing no thank you but he does chase oh, that right. one and beardsley rings him up on strikes cortez gone struck out by tyler beardsley big shout out to all of our viewers around the globe wherever you are scoring both willis and george Full count pitch, chopped towards second baseman Dale, who was playing across almost in a shift for the left-handed Gibson, and he will make the play comfortably at first base. Gift Nagope in the on-deck circle, a little dribbler up the first base line, tough play for the pitcher, who was almost going to get taken out by Tomska running up the line. This one is just going to get out of the reach of Travis Bazana diving and laying out at second base as best he could to try and catch that line drive from Gift, uh, sorry, from Adamic Tomska. Everybody sets back and, uh, and go pay at the plate. One runner on for the Aces. This one hit hard in the left field, base hit. Gibson will get it on the first hop. And Tomska will advance. Gopay with his first base hit of the series was 0 for 3 last night. Comes up with one here in the fourth. All of a sudden, the Aces are threatening again. Swing and a miss from Burke. Two balls, one strike. Three one pitches swung on and missed. Full count pitches chopped towards first base. Who can't handle it? It gets away. D'Antonio will get it back, but not in time. It bounced away from him, and Bazana coming across to cover. He ended up picking it up and flicking it back to D'Antonio. For the record, that was scored a single for Chris Burke. To three. A single to four. To four. Okay. It was picked up by Bazana after it was bobbled by yeah, okay. D'Antonio. Yeah, I'll take that. After four innings. Another full count pitches on the inside corner and will ring Romanski up on strikes. That's a great out. That is a great out there from Fogarty. His job might be done for the night. First pitch is out the middle. It's a chance of a double play. Rodriguez took forever to get the ball out of his mitt. And as a result, Bazana leaning the wrong way. He doesn't actually catch it. The Blue Sox are claiming that he might have lost it on transfer, but the umpire having none of it, saying you never had control of the ball at all. So 
So the night is over for Shane Fogarty. Willis has been uh, pretty good so far tonight. He's had a triple and a single. Oh. Couldn't hold back. Big swing and a miss from Willis. He goes down on strikes. Atkinson gets the first man he sees. He's had a base on balls to start with, then a fly to centre field has George. I'm sure it didn't go unnoticed by both the pitching staff and Atkinson. Change up is chopped foul down the third base line. Good choice of pitch that from Atkinson. Two strike, two out, bases loaded pitch. On its way, lifted into right field. It's dying quickly, but Cortez is coming quicker. Oh, yeah. And he will run it down in right field as he comes on nicely. And Cortez will get the Blue Sox out of a jam. Atkinson has done his job, and the Blue Sox have limited the damage to one. The sticks in their hands here, bottom of the fourth inning. Rodriguez leads things off, pops the first one into right field. Willis getting around there. Gets oh. all the way to the warning track in the end. As we say, breeze blowing. Sort of out in that direction from third base out to right field. As we just see this next pitch come in for a called strike. Oh, paints the outside edge. <laughs> That's about 17 an inning. That's why I threw those numbers in. Campbell yeah. rips one up the middle for a base hit for the Blue Sox. There's a start off. But the Blue Sox wouldn't give for a triple right about now. Oh, left field fly ball deep over there and charging underneath it, Chris Burke. He had a lot of time. That ball was very high. Stayed up in the sky for a long time, and that gave Burke plenty of time to gallop over there and get underneath it. In the designated hitter for his debut with the Blue Sox tonight. First at bat had a, an infield single. Oh, runner missed it. Oh, Michael Campbell took his eyes off the ball. Yeah, gets the edge. Only got to cut that black edge on the outside of the plate. Another 2-2 pitch from Beardsley. That's a slow roller to George. It's not in time. It's in the dirt anyhow. Campbell gets away from Tomska. And Campbell will advance to third. He was going on the force anyhow. Great base running, Michael Campbell. Beardsley trying to get the aces out of this inning. The runners at the corner. This pitch has swung on and missed, and that will level the count. Two balls and two strikes. Matters for the Sydney Blue Sox. This one, line drive at Nagope. He half hops himself, but beautiful soft hands from Gift, and he will come up and make the throw to first base for the out. And loses Blake. him on four straight. Blake Galen? Oh, sorry, Blake Galen. Leading the ladder. Their stats are all strong. Well, they're there for a reason. And they're full of confidence. But they're not there because they got lucky. Exactly. Oh. It's deep to centre right. I don't know if either of the Blue Sox can get there. No, they can't. It half hops the wall out there in centre right. Delman Young will trot in with a double. And uh, Blake Galen just had to hold up a little bit there at second base because... Cortez was closing in on it. He just had to make sure Cortez wasn't going to catch it. So he holds at third. It is the top of five. Oh, rips that to centre field. Nicely located there from Tomska. And that drives in Blake Galen. Another run for the scoreboard on the Aces side. Takes the first pitch for a strike. Inside. Takes a swing at the next one, though. Nice little foul tip. Leading by three. Breaking pitch goes straight through the legs. Could be a problem for Aces. Oh, safe sliding in there. Jack Barry slides into home plate on that loose pitch. It's another run on the board for the Aces. This one line drive straight at second baseman Bazana. He will come up with the catch. Has no play. Tomska does a good job of freezing and getting back. But the Blue Sox have an out. Oh, 
Oh, jams him up on the hands, gets a swing out of him. Gets rung up there. Oh, about a danger time for Chris Burke. Pointed at the edge of the plate. Straight back at the umpire's face. This one's coming up here, Harrow. On listen, the roof. Listen for the thud. Oh, throws one high inside and gets Romanski swinging. Yep, makes contact with it. High fly ball to centre field. Michael Campbell's out there and he takes that high fly ball easily on the charge and heads back to the dugout for the Sydney Blue Sox. And strikes out looking. D'Antonio goes down. He's actually hobbling a little bit back to the dugout. Whatever it was that he twisted, it hurt him all right. Go around him, over him, anywhere. Oh, he's not going to get the opportunity as that one plonks him. It did. They do. They're coming from sixth position. This one hit hard. They're going to look oh, for a double, double play. play attempt. And they do not make it. Dragged him off the bag here. Did gift and... That's not Gift. Who is that at second base? Yep, yep. Yeah, Jared oh, it was Dar Gift. Yeah, Sorry, Dar everybody's moved. Gift. Yeah, Sorry, Jared Dar went to Gift and Gift yep. them back to, uh, to Tomska. Try Four. and make something happen. Put some pressure on Melbourne's defence. Gets that one through, though, to centre field. Nicely located over the back of second. Oh, the surprise Cortez held up then. Probably coach's call. Two balls, no strikes. Oh, broken bat. Down the third base side to Daryl George. George gets it across to Tomska, and they get the out on the 5-3 to three play. Atkinson quickly ahead, 0-2 of Dale. 2-2 Two -two pitch popped up. It's in foul territory behind first base. D'Antonio is there, Bazana behind him, but it's D'Antonio's. It gets big on him, but he catches it. Atkinson to Willis finds a strike to start things off. Hit hard, line driven straight at Bazana. Did not have to move, Travis Bazana. Didn't even lift his feet off the ground. Not one of them. Tuesday night. They've simplified it as to, uh, to who is where and when. Absolutely. This one popped up back to over the grandstand out of play. That's who's coaching third base for Melbourne, but he's having a good chat to Jacob Eunice at third. Uh, he's been waiting for that. Oh, Eunice bobs it down in front, but he still has a chance. Fires it across, oh, no. not in time. So the line on Atkinson will be 2.1 innings pitched. Two hits, two runs, both earned. A walk and two strikeouts. Hope he can get through this one fairly comfortably as he walks Blake well, Galen. That's his back-to-back -back walk for Blake Galen. This one hit hard into the 5-6 hole. It will score Daryl George rounding third and being held there will be Galen. So the Aces will add another one to the tally. Make it seven to two, and they get outside that. Oh, that one gets loose as well. Jake Burns, Jake Burns can't find the ball. Charging in from third base, Blake Galen. Another run on the board for the Aces. Make it eight to two. There's a called strike. <clears throat> Callum has to make the batter swing the bat. He, he does. did. It's into left center field. It's into the gap. It's going to land between them. Live diving was Gibson. He couldn't come up with it. As a result, Barry will score comfortably from second. And Tomska will be in with another double. His third hit of the night. Oh, the Gopo hits it hard and high, but it's out of play. Wynn trying to bring it back. Come on to the Gopo again. This one fouled the other way over the grandstand and out of play. Scoreline, Brisbane and Canberra, 3-3. Gopay walks. 
Blue Fox starting to warm some more pitches up. Burke hits it to right field. Cortez should be there. Comes forward, comes onto the run, yeah. takes the catch. And so Cortez will make the catch, and the Blue Sox will finally get out of that top of the sixth. Leads off the bottom of the sixth here now, Michael Campbell. And uh, for the Melbourne Aces, Tyler Beardsley stays on the hill. Called strike, gets the outside edge there on the left-handed hitting of Campbell. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball. Goes to end, Gope. And Gope gets the out. At first base through Danik Tomska. One of the reasons why he was playing big leagues. Yep. Gets a high fly behind the left field. Unfortunately, it's going to go into the glove of Chris Burke. Makes no mistake of those. Rounded that one up, did Chris Burke on the left side. Cavill ready at the plate. 2-2 two -two count. Check swing. Called for a strike. Three up, three down. The Sydney Blue Sox in the bottom of the sixth inning. Number 66 heading in there to replace Jake Burns. McCallum still on the mound for the Sox. One lifted into centre field. Should be straightforward for Campbell. Comes forward now. Comes on nicely to take the catch. Romanski flies to centre field to start. 0 for 3 and starts off with a foul. Dale Waits takes a called strike. Falls behind 0 and 2 now. 0-2 pitcher swung on and missed. And that will be all she wrote for Jared Dale. He'll go down on strikes. Fastball straight past him to start things off. Make it two. As Ellis gets another one past Amos. Who walks and four strikeouts. And through 90 pitches. As Amos goes down on strikes. And Ellis will retire the first one he sees tonight. Oh, bit of jazz on that one. Now allows that to pass and draws a base on balls. Yeah, Ellis gets a called strike on Eunice to start things off. Ellis set for the 0-1 pitch. Misses upstairs. No, he doesn't. Catches the uh, upper end of the strike zone. Eunice not happy about it. Neither the crowd. Crowd hanging in there, hoping upon hope. Uh, swing and a miss from Eunice and down on strikes. He will go the second strikeout for Mitchell Ellis in this bottom of the seventh inning. He goes after the first pitch and fouls it off. This is a 1-1 pitch. Goes after it. Swings through it. This has popped straight up in the air. Towering fly ball into foul territory. It'll be Romanski's job to get it, and he will. A nice catch from Jake Romanski. Never easy. Those pop-up fly fouls from the catcher. Change at first base. Max Brennan has come in to replace a slightly injured Trent D'Antonio. High chopper over the top of McCallum. The left to shortstop. Manny Rodriguez. He gets it across to uh, Brennan to get the 6-3 to three out. Ground ball to shortstop. Tomska ready now, waiting for McCallum. Nicely located pitch. Replacing Jake Burns. Ground ball. Gets across to Rodriguez again. Feeds it off straight away to Brennan at first base. Another 6-3 to three ground ball. Back-to-back -back ground balls to shortstop by the Aces. Brings up two outs. First pitch for a strike from McCallum. A 
This one's hit high, but straight up in the air to left field. Gibson should have a comfortable catch on it. He has a read on it, settles and does make the catch. That's the third out. Fly ball to position seven. So Melbourne Aces shut down by the Blue Sox. Left which is a 26-year-old from California, having his first season down here in the ABL. Very good. He should do well out of this. A little bit of development work. A line drive out of right field side. Well turned on by Cam Gibson. Turned hard, retrieved by Colin Willis, but hard hit ground ball. To make something happen here, Harrow, in this the bottom of the eighth, if they're going to have any chance tonight. Check swing for a strike. Yeah, a little excuse me, check swing. Didn't really mean <laughs> to bring the bat around. Luke Lefwich facing his second batter of the game. Big swing and a miss there from Rodriguez. Sees him walking back to the dugout. Big swinging K2. Runner goes unopposed to second base. Yep, gone. Not interested in him whatsoever. So Cam Gibson in scoring position at second. Campbell down on strikes, goes back and sits down in the dugout. Big swing and a miss there. That's the pitching of Leftwich. Just mixing them up a bit. Two out now for the Blue Sox. Runner in scoring position is Gibson at second. 0 for 3 tonight, Bazana. Called strike. Called. He's been calling him there all night. Don't know why the batters would change their mind now. Bazana still at the plate now. It's a ground ball. Can it get through? No, it will not. That will be the end of the Blue Sox in the bottom of the eighth innings. Bazana out on a 4-3. to three. A ground ball brings up the third out. They leave Cam Gibson stranded. Followed by Jake Romanski and Jared Dale. McCallum still throwing on the mound for the Blue Sox. And Burke will start things off with a foul into the Blue Sox bullpen. I would think so with no damage. Chris Burke hit that one. High fly, always going foul. He just had a good look at it. This one doesn't go. This one won't be going foul. This will be going into the glove of Carlos Cortez in right field. And there it is for the first out in the top of the ninth. If you like it, there it is. Romanski does that. It's, it's into shallow left field. Rodriguez being called off by Gibson, and Gibson takes the catch comfortably in left. Fly right, fly left, two up, two down. They've just, just made sure they've got themselves focused for what they need to do next week. All started at the top of the first inning, scoring three runs off the first three batters. Ooh. Swing and a miss from Dale. Falls behind one and two. 2-2 pitch, it's driven into left field, coming forward, Gibson, he'll have to hold up and take it on the hop. That will be a base hit for Jared Dale, his first of the evening. A base hit to right field off McCallum last time he saw him. This time pops it up into shallow centre field, going back will be Rodriguez. He's all over it, takes it comfortably. And that will be the Aces' offence for the night. One feels. Eunice lifts this one into right field. Heading back will be Willis to the warning track. He stops and catches it comfortably. It's over. And that is all she wrote. The Melbourne Aces will take this game nine runs to two.